make a tutorial of 2D walking cycle animation on OpenToons? Short answer, of course! Welcome to another video with Yui, in which I'm here to help you start your creative journey using free and affordable programs. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you on how to make a walking animation with no art skills and the lazy simple way open up the program and get ready let's start animating previously on ue design for any art drawing piece you will be using you will have to separate it into three essential parts the body left leg right leg and the rest is filling the gaps alongside the way here I have used a free editing program called Photopy. If you're having trouble with this step, no worries. Do check out this video that will offer you secret technique and hacks on how to separate your work piece. When done with the separation process, it's time to switch the programs. Open up OpenTunes on your device and start by creating both a new project and scene with the height and width needed. With it created, you will be greeted with a wide canvas. Our first step is to import what we have edited earlier. Switch the viewpoint from drawing to browser. You see this empty space over here? Just select the images you want to add from your file and drag and drop them there. With this, our first step is over. Switch back to drawing in which all our work will be here. <clears throat> If you like Yui's tutorial so far, make sure to like this video or subscribe if, well, you enjoy Yui content in general. Wink, wink, wink. <clears throat> Serious now. After importing the images, you can notice how the layers are all over the place. The order of your layers might be different from mine, so do organize them the way you find suitable. But a tip in case you're having trouble. You can reorder them the same way they were in the editing program you used to separate them before. Our next step is very, very important and is the start of the animation process. Let's start by fixing our timeline to wanted amount. Then we'll need to create a mesh and skeleton for each picture so we can move them the way we want. Select a body part, then find the plastic tool. From the upper menu, click Create Mesh to have a small window appear. This is where we will select the length of the mesh. Try to keep it as simple as possible so you don't overcomplicate it. Somewhere between 24 and 23 is great. Do the same step to all the other images. Double check that all layers have the same amount of timeline. If everything is all clear, Select the build skeleton from the upper menu. The first dot you will place is the root. Do know an important note that the root is unmovable. For the leg, I placed both roots in the upper edge of the leg. Then, one by one, added the rest of the point. One above the knee, one on the knee, and the last one on the feet. Same thing for both legs. As for the body, this is how I placed mine. I'm only aiming for simple back and forth movement with little squish, so it won't be complicated. Time to animate. Open up your big brain with me. Because what I'm about to explain is super, super important. Plus, to not get ourselves overwhelmed, we will animate one leg at a time. The method we will be using is called, or I call it, heel and toe. Pretty creative. I know. However, there is a reason to the naming. Trust, trust. You will see in a moment. Look at the image you have and identify the one with its heel closest to the ground. If neither of the legs you have are touching the ground, you can fix it with making it the first keyframe of the animation. How? Come, come, come. Let me show you. Switch the plastic tool from build skeleton to animate. 
This way, you can adjust or add our number one keyframe on the timeline. I will adjust mine slightly to make this tutorial suitable for all different cases, especially to those who don't have their image with heel on the ground. With the default state placed, move further on the timeline. After having the heel slightly touching the ground, now it's getting ready to the action, which means our second frame is where the impacts happen. Boom! Make the foot completely flat on the floor, bending the knee on 90 degree angle. Lovely. Now, move further in the timeline, keeping the foot on the floor. Move the whole leg backward in a straight line. Easy. Last but not least, push the leg all the way back with a tiptoeing kind of feeling. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Heard what I said? Tiptoe. Yes, it is the name of the method. Heels and toes. Name dropped. Boom. All the frames we did earlier is to create a movement heel to toe. All right, Yui. What does it mean? It means that the other leg is going to have the same step but the opposite. Toe to heel. Ready. For the other leg, if it's not on the toe, move it to make it so. Just like me. Then, for the second keyframe, let the leg go all straight, touching the ground, forward. Nice. Third frame, full force. 90 degree, but this time all high up, up, up in the sky. Then, last keyframe. You got this. You know the answer. It is on heel, slightly touching the ground. See? See? As the first leg, but the opposite direction and order. Of course, for my note lover writers, here is the summary. As for the full cycle, we will need both legs to go back to their original placement. But this won't change what we just learned. Because now we know how to move from heel to toe and toe to heel. The only thing you need to be aware of is that you want the last keyframe, concentrate, concentrate. You want the last keyframe to be identical to the first one. So when you reach the last one, Copy frame one and paste it in the end. Okay? Okay, okay. As for the body, keep it in the same way in the first keyframe. Then, somewhere in the middle of second and third of the legs keyframe, animate the body to squeeze downward. Squeeze it downward. For the third frame, just bend the body a little forward. Next, you will need to copy the second keyframe and paste it in the middle of the 5th and the 6th frames for the legs ones. Last but not least, copy the first keyframe and paste it in the end. <clears throat> now, behold, admire the knowledge, the power, the ultimate... Drama, drama, so much drama. So, this is the result. Crazy? Right? 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 Let me know if it's crazy or not in the comments, but I trust it is crazy. You can do extra animation, for my case, the ribbon, but remember, this means you will need to also separate them from the body during, you know, separation process we did in the beginning. And please, please, don't forget to save your work. You can save it by choosing either fast render or output setting to choose other format like GIF or GIF, whatever you call it. This is the end of this tutorial. Like usual, you will be happy to hear your thoughts in the comments or if you have any other questions. Hope you had a fruitful watch. Don't forget to like this video to help it reach more and more people on me.
And do check out my coffee page, which contains lots of game designs you can download on your devices. See you in another video. Yui is out. <laughs>